broadcasting in high definition. 11 Alive News Today starts now. The outcome of the Martin Chambliss U.S. Senate race could have more far-reaching effects than first thought. Along with the White House, the Senate and House will be democratically controlled. So take a look. After last night's election, the Senate now has 56 Democratic seats to the GOP's 40. If the rest of the remaining four seats go to the Democrats, the party will have a 3-2 to two margin over the Republicans. So what does this balance of power mean? 11 Alive political analyst Bill Crane from Hudson Crane joins us this morning with a closer look. You have not had any sleep. Not yet. So thank you I'm for watching on. these and joining us to talk about this. What do you see as what we can expect later on today? Well, in the Senate race, I think we can expect Jim Martin to ask for a recount because I don't expect with what's left out there, the margin to shift. It's possible that it could close, but that it will shift where the outcome is decided by less than a percentage point. He has, he has the right to accept and the state cannot deny a recount. So That'll take several days. And if it changes the result, then that well could cause a runoff, which would still take place on December the 4th. The numbers that are still out there, then how will they come in? As sporadically? I mean, do they, do they well, start at 9 o'clock this morning? This, this is the or? first time we've had absentee and, and early voting 45 days out. Right. And it's the first time we've had a million five votes cast before an election. So the, the law change allowed for the counties to begin counting yesterday morning at 7 o'clock in a sequestered room, but to not report out results until after the polls closed at 7. The word we're getting from a lot of the Metro Atlanta election chief, uh, superintendent says they were more worried at the precinct level about executing the election so their workers were dispersed and they didn't have a whole lot of people tabulating other than electronically particularly the paper ballots that were mailed in and cast in places like Gwinnett where they had the misprint so all of those are being tabulated by hand last night and this morning several hundred thousand of those this was a pretty tough election for both the the ads commercials very very uh, rough what do you think this has to say for the campaign and how it was run for both sides? Well, I think that uh, the voters expressed in some of the exit polls their, their dislike for that type of campaigning, but I don't know that we'll see a change in tone in the next month, month. and I think particularly on the Martin side, it'll continue to be a referendum on Saxby economics. Mm -hmm. um, there are several things I'd suggest to the, the Chambliss campaign, if I was consulting them, that they haven't done on some things that Senator Chambliss did achieve as Senate, but it's been firing back and forth at each other so far. And I, I think the voters are quite frankly a little sick of it. Well, get a little sleep, Bill. Yeah. The, the day's not quite over for no, you, but no, I one, one more time at this desk and then I'm heading for bed. All right. Bill Thank Crane, you so thanks. much.